His ideas may seem controversial, but they have been proven to work in reinvigorating the health of rural landscapes. And now Peter Andrews is enjoying a growing following among landholders, eager to step away from high input farming and towards more natural methods of improving the productivity of their land. At a recent series of field days in central Queensland, Mr Andrews explained his idea of balancing a property between farming, woodlands and wetlands. He argues that by building a series of leaky weirs across creeks, the flow of water is slowed, reducing erosion from fast running creeks and allowing the water to spread over lowlands and soak thoroughly into the soil for long term pasture growth. You know, and if this pattern wasn't there, you'd find that these rocks probably would have disappeared in the last flood. So we can sort of build on this principle of watching the way water goes against water. And once in this state, the system acts like a sponge that can be topped up with only small rain events, while also redistributing organic matter across the soils that would otherwise be lost downstream. And that's where it drops the sediment, you see? Because this has actually created that barrier. If this wasn't here, that sediment wouldn't be dropped, it would go on down somewhere else. And that's an example of, see this little threshold through here? That meant that when the water was flooding, it was going through there, creating a pile of water down so, so that this was moving slow enough to drop this mud at that level of flooding. But the reason that happened is because there was a pile of water down there slowing this down, and see from this point it's got up speed again, but it's the what can get out at the bottom rather than what's happening, you know, right at this point. This is just telling you that this water wasn't moving fast enough, uh, not to cut soil away, but to actually drop soil. And the only way that could happen was there could be a pile of water down there at the time of the flood, when the flood was this height, you see, that that pile was actually causing it to back up.